always find it interesting, like as, as a drummer percussionist, whenever you're holding things that are noisy, so like, like if you have like a, like a set of sticks or a bell or a chime or like a shaky bells, or in this case, like foil, like the, I feel like we finished the performance and now I'm holding this thing <laughs> and I have to like, like there's no way to put it down quietly. You know? Yeah, it's yeah like I a, noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> there's like a lot of logistics with, with percussion of, of, of making these things quiet. Perhaps, as, a, as a drummer, we need some performance. <laughs> classes too. <Okay. laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I understand what you mean. Yeah, like I, I didn't grow up doing like concert percussion, like where you have like a trap and like you have like, you're, you're, that's part of what you do. Like yeah. I grew up kind of playing drums where like you pick up the stick and then you throw it. Is like that? it's <laughs> <laughs> it's not really yeah. something that it's quiet, but it, it's interesting because a lot of these sounds um, find their way in a performance. Mm -hmm. So like with the setup that I'm using, I can, um, you know, like when this mic is, is live, it picks up everything. So if I put anything down anywhere near, it's like it becomes quite loud, loud. and it, it <clears throat> kind of becomes part of the voice. Like I, I try to be quiet about it, but I, I can't. Mm -hmm. Like it's so it becomes part of the instrument in terms of how you move the instrument or how you kind of engage with this or like grabbing things like those sounds or yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, become part of it because it, it's impossible to make them quiet. I think that's the, the better way because otherwise you you get distracted. With that, just pick something and thinking, oh, I, I, I need to be quiet, or, <laughs> and then you move around. It's yeah, yeah. Strange. And I think it's different. So, like, if I'm if I'm playing, let's say, like, if, if we're in a moment where you're playing on your, like, it's just you making sound that I'm quiet. During those sections, I would try to be absolutely quiet. So if I'm grabbing something, I would be uh -huh. extra careful, because I'm, I'm not a voice in the music at that point. I'm, I'm like, I'm getting things ready for later. Exactly. Um, whereas if I am making sound, I think all the sounds I make become part of it, but it's different, I think, in like, um, if you're actively not playing, then I, I do try to be quieter, but it's, it's kind of tricky. Um, some quite interesting sounds that you had, like I, I it's, it, you know, I've talked about that a couple times because I've, I've played with a few drummers, uh, like in, in this series, mm -hmm. and I, I really enjoy um, drums, drums, or percussion, percussion, or drums, electronics, drums, electronics. like when you have... Uh, we have sounds that are overlap a lot. So like you have metal symbols, I have well, a very yeah, small yeah, symbol, yeah. I have a snare, you have a snare. So we have similar sound sources, but our languages are very different mm -hmm. and, and our, uh, how they interact is very different. Um, which, yeah, I find very interesting to see how that plays out, you know? Yeah. Like yeah. there were there's some kind of cool moments where we had um, kind of like, uh, voice duets like we had like a low sounds and low sounds and yeah, then we had like yeah. a mm -hmm. and we kind of made a duet between the two of us with those things which was um, between the two of us made one thing which was very nice because even though we have shared sounds um, do you play with other drummers much or have mm, no no not not so much mm. I think the last time I played with another drummer was with um, Pedro Manuel. Yeah, yeah, which uh, uh, with two trumpets, but uh, it's not. It's not. I think it's not so easy to play with a, with another drummer. Why do you find that to be the case? Uh, here. Oh, no. Yeah, or I mean, in general, like. No, I, th I think, for example, here it's. I I really. Mm, I, when I'm improvising, I, I'm always looking for the the sound and. Uh, you 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 have a, like a different instrument. You're not you're not, you're not, like, not playing like a drum kit. You know, yeah. you you play your own instrument. So that's so different for me that it's very easy to to connect hmm. with your sound and um, and then your way of playing comes later. Uh, but the sound comes first, and then it's it's easy for me than playing with another drummer. Right, where you have. You know, most similar sound sounds or um, or even when I'm playing with another drummer, if he is playing and imp impress me with another uh, sound, I always wow, oh, why, <laughs> hey, how he did that sound? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I need to learn that. Or wow, that's amazing. And so I think sometimes getting me dis distracted of the um, main right, playing, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. and uh, it's it's interesting um 
and I think that the big difference is 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 that, mm. and the sound could be similar, or, and perhaps in improvisation with another drummer sometimes, and I think it's wrong, but it's unconscious that you, it feels like you need to to find the different uh, uh, sounds of the other drum mm. to to be different, and I think that is a mistake. You just need to go and. Yeah, yeah. And, and follow, yeah. follow what you feel. It's interesting because I guess with the drums, I mean, I think a lot of instruments can have kind of wide techniques. But for example, if you had two pianists playing, which is not something you have very often because not a lot of places have two mm -hmm. pianos, but they probably wouldn't be so worried about the sounds. I mean, they they would have their tone and touch, but like the they would be they would be thinking about the notes. Like I'm playing these notes and that yeah, notes. Yeah, yeah. But I guess because of the nature of of percussion and drums. Like we have access to like a very wide palette of sounds, and you can do very interesting or creative or unique sounds, which yeah can both surprise mm -hmm. and sometimes distract, which is an interesting way of thinking about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, I have no distraction with your sound, so that's <laughs> really nice. I was like, mm, everything is. Uh, yeah, yeah. Complaining. Cool. Shall we play some more? Yeah, yeah. Okay.